Claudine Kamikaze has a precious commodity that's in high demand. She runs a mobile solar kiosk at the central bus station in the Rwandan capital, Kigali. Many of the phone users alighting here have been on the road and offline for hours. Claudine's kiosk enables them to charge up their phones or surf the net courtesy of solar power. Business is good. I chose this because it's something new. The fact that they always come to me shows I made a good choice. The mobile solar kiosk is the brainchild of Henry Nyakarundi. The idea was an obvious solution to the situation on the ground, he says. 70% of Rwanda's 11.5 million inhabitants have a mobile phone, but only 22% have electricity. It's a convenient way for people while they're waiting for the bus to charge their phone, uh, pay a small amount and then uh, go on on their business. Or whether we're in, uh, in rural area, the convenience is still the same, you know. It's been four years since Nyakarundi built the very first mobile solar kiosk with the assistance of a German company. There are now 40 spread across Rwanda, each one managed by independent operators like Claudine. A portion of their earnings goes to the inventor. For him, what began as a simple idea has evolved into far more than just a business model. The social impact, uh, it's very um, key of our business. That's what we focus on. So we, we're mostly looking for women, people with disability, that don't have any jobs, no other opportunity, but wants to work. And it's also bring a, a, a certain, I wouldn't say pride, but uh, self-esteem. Demand is substantial in Rwanda, both for new jobs and for access to electricity and the internet, which is why Henry Nyakarundi sees huge market potential. By the end of this year, he plans to expand his pool of kiosks from 40 to between 6 and 800. He also wants to take his invaluable experience from Rwanda and introduce the successful micro-franchising model to neighboring Uganda, where the majority of the kiosk components are made. It's not just creating jobs through micro-entrepreneurship, but it's building this ecosystem that will support them through that business. So. We transport the kiosk to the location for them, um, which is including on the fee. We give them support on the uh, uniform they wear. They have an app uh, where they sell services. Henry Nyakarundi is introducing the next generation at the Smart Africa conference at the Kigali Convention Center. It brings together politicians with entrepreneurs, donors, and investors to discuss technical solutions for the continent and its people. Henry Nyakarundi is happy to see so much interest in his innovation. Our goals for the next actually 10 years is uh, 20 countries in Africa. We've already selected the countries. We estimated about 50 to 100,000 kiosks in all those countries. That, that's about 50 to 100,000 uh, micro businesses will be created. A mobile solar kiosk currently costs more than $2,000. Henry plans to maximize the number of components made in Africa, lowering the price and creating even more jobs. Survey, we can do survey on our Wi-Fi Claudine, the kiosk operator from the bus station, has finished work for the day. Now she's helping her children finish their homework. She can more or less determine her own working hours. I can't afford to stay at home with my kids. I need to have an income. And the job helps me to make ends meet. It's made things a lot easier. She earns around $100 a month from the kiosk, which in Rwanda amounts to double the average income.